All new here on the 10 o'clock news, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster gave his annual State of the State address. There he is walking in tonight. It happened in Columbia at the State House. The governor recognized the unprecedented challenges the state is facing due to COVID-19, but maintained he believes the future is still bright. The scene inside the State House was much different, of course, due to COVID-19 with limited occupancy inside the chamber and added security in and around the building due to what we saw happen last week at the state at the national at the nation's capital. Well, Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax was there and has more on what he the governor has to say is in store for the Palmetto State. It's quiet inside the state house now, but the governor's message earlier rang out loud and clear. Help and relief are on the way. His opposition, meanwhile, believes his lack of response to the COVID-19 pandemic is costing South Carolina. Governor Henry McMaster's overall message Wednesday night was one of hope and resilience in the face of coronavirus. I have never been more proud of our people than right now. The governor touted what he says were his administration's swift and decisive policies when it came to COVID relief. We slowed down, but safely remained open. We never closed. Our reasonable steps of limited, measured, and temporary actions allowed us to combat the virus without crippling our economy. The governor said South Carolina must also continue to look ahead, which is why he's advocating for half a billion to be put into a rainy day fund and another $123 million for small business grants through the Department of Commerce. We should enhance the department's mission to help our small businessmen grow, expand, and flourish. Education was another hot topic of the governor's speech, and he maintained his belief that schools have all the resources they need to open full-time amid the pandemic. This led to a bold proposal to lawmakers. I asked the General Assembly to quickly send to my desk legislation for my signature that will require unwilling school districts to reopen their classrooms. In a Democratic response, State Senator Mia McLeod criticized the governor's response to COVID-19, which has now infected at least 330,000 South Carolinians. According to a recent White House report, Greenville ranks number one in the nation for mid-sized cities, and Spartanburg ranks ninth. This virus is wreaking havoc across South Carolina, and Governor McMaster has yet to even articulate a plan to address it. The governor did not address the vaccine rollout in his speech, but did say that he wants DHEC to be restructured. This coming as the agency releases new guidelines on who is to be vaccinated going forward. In Columbia tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina News.